Hello students, and welcome to a very different and kind of special episode of Coach Stroud's What to Read While Quarantined. This is episode 13, and uh, I've got a little surprise for you. I'm not going to talk about a book today. Um, if you haven't gotten the news, I'm sure most of you have by this point. Uh, Georgia schools have been canceled uh, indefinitely for the rest of the school year. And this is a very difficult time for a lot of you. Um, it's very difficult for myself as well. My wife, who's also a teacher, it hit her really hard too. Um, and the reason why it hits us teachers pretty hard is, you know, we love you guys very much. And we, um, we really take a lot of pride in watching y'all grow and learn as, as young adults and individuals. And... It's important to us to see your progression. And, and for me, I've got seniors this year who are graduating. And to get the chance to say goodbye to them and wish them luck one last time, um, we're going to miss out on that opportunity. And it's it's very tough. Um, my wife, being a third grade teacher, you know, it's a pretty young age for kids. And, and um, you know, she's... She's essentially kind of like another parent to them, and um, she looks at them very much as if they're, they are her children as well. And and to not be able to see them face to face, you know, and and see them along to their next grade, um, it's it's tough. It's tough for us. <clears throat> but seeing that it's tough for us, I know it's even tougher on you guys. Um, you know. This is a, a a part of a part of life right now that is just it doesn't seem fair and it doesn't seem um, just, I don't know just just doesn't seem right. Um, so what I want to actually talk to y'all about is talking to people. Um, the importance right now of you reaching out to your friends, <clears throat> reaching out to your family, reaching out to others who are going through the same stuff you are. Uh, classmates, um, and just friends in general. Y'all are experiencing this all on the same level, and it's important for y'all to reach out for each other. For me, I, uh, you know, as y'all know, I was in the military, and um, I went to war. And my my father was in the military. He he was lucky though. He did not have to go to war. Um, but. So my, my dad and I connect on, on, on a lot of things when it comes to the military, but they're, we're missing that one little piece together. Um, I'm lucky because I have my grandfather, my grandfather Johnson, who's all the way out in California. Um, he fought in Vietnam. And because he's gone through a war, I've gone through a war, we can connect to each other, and, and in my opinion, in a way that most other people don't understand. Um, I'm very lucky to have him, and um, he's just a special part of my life. Again, my dad, being prior service military as well, I link up with him as best as I can, but there's something about my grandfather that is just extra special to me. Um, that connection that I have with him and us having that shared experience I want you guys to go out and search for yourselves, okay? Obviously not leave your house and go out, but like, you know, text your friends, FaceTime with them, do a Google Meet with a group of your buddies. I'm encouraging y'all to please, please, please make that connection with each other, be there for each other, so that, you know, you all understand that you're in this together. You know, you're all experiencing um, this quarantine together. It's really important for times like these for us to be with each other as best as possible, uh, obviously within means. Um, it's a sad day for all of us. Um, I really, really, really wanted to link back up with y'all at least one more time just to make sure y'all understood how much you guys, my students, um, meant to me. Um, I know I say it in every episode that I love you guys and miss you like crazy, but I need y'all to understand that, you know, being your teacher is one of the best honors of my life. And it's not a job that I take lightly at all. It's really important to me. So make those connections with your friends, make them with your families, talk about your experiences together. Um, 
get through this with each other, just like I use my grandfather and hopefully he uses me as well. Um, make those connections with each other. I love you guys. I miss you like crazy. And until next time, we'll see you later.